hello friends today we will discuss about routing one of the important aspect in the production planning and control you will be able to get what is the concept of routing and its role in the different production systems and at the end of the session you will be able to prepare a root sheet for a simple job the content of the sessions will be like this what is routing what are the root sheets routing in continuous production and routing in job order and routing in production system that will be the total points which will be covering today what is routing well all of us know that production planning and control is a important function in the entire organization it deals with three stages pre planning planning and control three major phases in ppc we need to do some work before we plan that is generally called as pre planning session planning the actual planning of the entire production or service management systems and then at the end we have to have what is called as controlling and what is the meaning of control is just just to check the progress whether things are happening as per plan or not and if not what are the corrective actions which are required all those part will be part of the entire ppc and as all of us know ppc consists of major stages like routing scheduling loading then sequencing and then line balancing afterwards we will be talking about what is controlling and then follow up all these things taken together we call it as the major functions of ppc the first function of course being routing we will discuss today some important aspects of routing routing may be defined as the path which each part of the product will follow while being transferred from raw material to finished product it is related to production it can also be applicable to service the entire process where the input will be converted into output and what will be the route what will be the path through which we are converting the input into output that path we have to decide and that the process of deciding that path is called as routing because routing will give you the idea about how the entire process flow will be there and while well, there can be number of alternative process flows there can number of alternative routes our major job is determination of the most advantageous path to be followed from department to department and to machines till the raw material gets its final shape or its final specifications what is most advantageous path that path which probably will try to optimize either the resources in terms of machines or material or in terms of the manpower advantage path is not necessarily the shortest path as such it can be the various combinations of the resources so that we will get the final economical route and at the same time sometimes economical route may not be feasible in that case we have to go for an alternative method which may have a slightly more cost impact but which will still protect the customer and try to satisfy the customer by giving it on time delivery now when we talk about routing it consists of some of the major decisions like the first is where to make in plant or buy from outside we have got the first option of between make and buy make or buy whether we have to manufacture that inside the organization or we have to procure it from outside agency like outsourcing that is the first decision which the routing will uh, involve the second thing is material description what is the material involved in that entire uh, uh, specifications then after material which is specified we have to divide the work into different operations division of work into different operations and then machine selection for different operations once we have to allocate the entire job into smaller operations so that we are dividing that work into small operations and then the object next necessary question will be which are the machines required for that particular operations we have to decide the machine selection also once we decide the material once we decide the workflow once we decide the machine next important question is sequence of operations sequence of operations is the process flow or generally called as machining process flow 
the process flow is very important we cannot change the process flow division of operation into smaller work elements and then if tooling is there if tooling requires some special tooling we have to think of tooling also so routing will consist of all these things all these things taken together will be tabulated in variety of manner one of the most common method of tabulating all these information is called as root sheet root sheet consists of everything that operation uh, that is operation description their sequence type of machines tools jigs fixtures required and what is the setup time and operation time which is the department involved and so on and so forth so root sheet is the prime document for ppc where we are giving entire details of how the entire route of that particular job or of that material of that activity is going to start through which particular locations through which particular work sessions it will start where all the operations are required whether it requires which type of machines which type of accessories and tooling what is the time required for each of this all this will be summarized will be tabulated in a sheet called as root sheet and therefore it also provides the sequence of various orders as well as optimum sequence of the operations so we have to think of optimization of the sequences also that sequence which is most economical and at the same time feasible for meeting the customer requirements also has to be thought of and then we can consider that decision as the most effective route as such here is a simple example of a root sheet how the root sheet will appear the root sheet will appear like this it consists of variety of columns like department machine operation number description tooling jigs fixtures and what is the time in time we have got two categories what is the setup time and what is the operational time so now this is a very simple job where we are cutting some teeth on a milling machine and therefore it starts with forging operation the first operation is forging then we have indicated operation number 10 what is the setup time and what is the operational uh, time for that forging it is 4 hours of setting and 30 minutes of operational time after forging naturally we go for heat treatment so normalizing we do it for the heat treated job so that will take another few hours after that it will go for machine shop when the first operation will be done on the center lathe and the last operation will be done on the milling machine where cutting of the teeth is done with the help of a side and face milling cutter and central lathe will have of course the facing and turning operations as all of us know very well so this is generally called as root sheet which involves start of the raw material to the finish of the and last operation so this is how the root sheet is looking like now uh, the routing can be possible into job order production system and continuous production system all of you know what is job order and what is continuous just quote one simple example of what is job order production system and what is the example of a continuous production system well the answer is quite simple all of us know any type of project job such as erection of a sugar plant or cement plant is a job order production and then continuous production system is where the production is continuous it is not intermittent or it is not stopping from on and off then that is called as a continuous production system the example of continuous production system is a cement plant or a sugar plant just see we have quoted the same example in both the cases the first one is talking about setting up of the plant setting up the cement plant or setting of reaction of the sugar plant or cement plant is the example of job order production system and once the cement plant or sugar plant is ready then the running of the cement or production of the cement or production of the sugar becomes an example of a continuous production system so two different perspectives for the same example that is what the routing in both the cases will be now routing in condition production in continuous production system and uh, routing in automated production systems we are talking about a continuous production system where everything is standardized and nothing is generally interrupted so that way the routing is simple in case of a continuous production system routing in in job order it is every time the job is new one we have to have varying specifications therefore route requires a lot of specification changes and therefore it is slightly difficult as compared to the continuous one and intermittent is between these two where we are talking about it is not that simple as continuous and not as difficult as in case of a job order type of production system so in all 
at the end we probably have discussed about what are the various methods of uh, various various types of production systems like a job intermittent and continuous and how the routing is different and what is a root sheet what are the various applications of the root sheet and so on how that will be helpful to you okay we'll discuss about the further part of scheduling in the thank you very much